thank you for what you've done in this study. It's a great contribution to all of our people, and it gives hope that we can meet the dangers and the fears that lie ahead. Right. Thank you very much indeed, Keith, for coming Thanks. today. Friends, I think the thing that comes out of this study for all of us is that we can face the future regardless of the threats, dedicated to peace, but prepared for whatever dangers may come if we take the action now to build that protection. And maybe on Washington's birthday, the man who fought for and achieved freedom for our country, we, each one of us, can take steps in our homes, in our schools, in our communities to make that freedom a living reality for the future of mankind. People who live and work in Albany, of course, work around physical signs of the legacy of, of Nelson Rockefeller, but how would you, um, how would you describe kind of his, his legacy in, in the structure of our state government? Would you describe him as, as a reformer or as more of a mechanic on, on the way that state government operates over the course of his, his years in office? I thought he made a remarkable transition. And in doing that, morale was never higher. People loved Nelson Rockefeller, the employees, that is. The systems that were in place, he changed those. He changed the structure of government. But he always thought of the individuals. So everyone felt that they were contributing to the cause. And they knew that nothing was impossible with Governor Rockefeller. When he suggested that we were going to do something, we didn't say, well, maybe we can, maybe we, we'll do it. John, when he mentioned clean water, clean air, you know, and the clean earth, we laughed a little bit outside his presence. We knew what the Hudson River was. We didn't think that it ever could be cleaned up, but because he said it, we did it. And when he talked about the South Mall, when he talked about buildings around the state, we were going to do it. The uh, the explosion in construction in the state was fantastic. The state university, what he did with the normal schools, those small colleges, turned them into this great university we have, that almost happened overnight. They just the idea was there, and he could motivate people.